All right, we just got to Zion National Park here in Utah. There's our campsite. About to go check out the Virgin Florida. River over yeah, here with Harper. See what kind of scenery we're working with. Think. Smells like poop out here. Entering Zion National Park right now. And there's a shit ton of traffic. Ah, traffic. And we're on the way to Razor's Edge UTV tours. Woo! See you there. Poo pee pee. Everybody like to. Yeah, that was fun. Here we go. <laughs> Was that fun? <laughs> that was fun. Probably 40, 50 feet. Whew. Climbing back up, it sucks. I'm gonna wait for the ride. <laughs> Peekaboo Canyon. Hey, Spock Canyon! Hey, Spock Canyon! Hey, Spock Canyon! Crazy. It's right up here too. There's a, a fossil that found it. And so it's a fossil of a crinoid. Which a crinoid's like a. I don't know. They have like five little tentacles, almost like a jellyfish looking mm -hmm. thing. They're really weird looking. But they have five tentacles, and when they uh, go in the mud and get you know, fossilized, mm -hmm. you see the five points and it's a perfect star. And there's some more up here that aren't, you know, as perfect, but you can see the stars and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So how old do you think those are? Millions? They're, they're still living in the ocean right now. Yeah. But I don't know how, I couldn't tell you a timeline, but.
feel free to take more. AC room, mm -hmm. they carved their way up there, and those were their steps to get up in there. Right. And granted, you know, years and years ago, yeah. the bottom could have been right here, you know? Right. But because it stayed so cool in here, they have like a granary up there, that's where they'd keep their meat, but it was always cool in here, so it lasts a lot longer. Smart. And so the Very Indians smart. kind of settled in here and made it their little. Say hi. Hey guys, so we just got back in the car. We just wrapped up the tour. It was actually really fun. Our tour guide's name was TJ. He was super informative. We took obviously our three-year-old and our three-month-old on this UTV tour and we didn't really have any issues at all. We just put the car seat in the UTV. He went really slow so it wasn't bumpy or anything. Uh, if you're in Zion, there's really not a whole lot you can do with kids. I mean, depending. We have a three month old so we can't like do the narrows or anything with them but you can do tours like this and I highly recommend it because like I said we just put the car seat right in no issues at all TJ was awesome he says that this is kind of his side gig um, but he did a phenomenal job so we're heading back to the RV we are going to grill some food and probably do a little laundry because it's about that time all right see you there What's up? It's our last day in Zion. We're at stop number nine of the trolley ride in the national park at the Temple of Sinua. We're going to be doing some exploring up in here. Gonna go as far up to the Narrows, which is a very narrow, as the name implies, trail that has a river flowing through it. Um, none of us have water gear, so I don't think we'll be going too far. But we're definitely gonna go check it out and see what we can do with it. So this, this part of the park is a lot nicer than what we saw yesterday driving in our personal vehicle because the trolley takes you to places that you can't access with your personal vehicle because this place has more rules than a high school. It feels like I'm being told to do something I don't want to do every five seconds by a park ranger, but I'm here. This is nature. You should be able to do whatever you want with respect. I don't make the rules. Here we are at the Virgin River. I can't believe I made that. So there's some guys hiking. Right there. I'll clip in a picture so you guys can see. So one thing that we weren't really expecting um, was the shuttle bus system. You can't really drive throughout the park. You can only drive the scenic, scenic highway, um, which really doesn't connect to many trailheads. You actually have to get on a shuttle that takes you to all these like different trailheads. So from the visitor center to Mount Sinawa, or Temple of Sinawa, which we are here now. It took about 45 minutes, which kind of sucked a little bit, not gonna lie. So kind of like in Florida, but in different, they have these algae blooms here um, that are pretty dangerous. So they tell people not to go in the water. 
I don't really know what kind of algae blooms they are, but maybe we can put them in the video right here. Uh, so we will not be going in any water today. Maybe Mike, because he's crazy, but definitely not the kids. It's interesting because it's not hot here at all. So the very top layer of these formations is the softest rock. It's like really soft sandstone. Some of it's actually real sand. So when it rains on the top of the mountain, it sinks down into the different layers. And then when it hits like a hard layer, it really has nowhere to go. So it comes out the side of the mountain, mesa, cliff, whatever have you. So sometimes you'll see like these like spurting, like water sources on the side, which is kind of cool. Like there's some runoff right there. But higher up, there's like little holes and it kind of just shoots out, which is pretty interesting. This trail is totally doable. It's paid for the most part. There's a couple uphill things, but it's not too bad. It's only a two mile track to the Narrows and the whole time it's by the river. So it's just gorgeous. Plus there's like little benches and stuff. You can stop if you want to and all that good stuff. So if you're scared of hiking and think you can't do Zion, you can. So this is the Narrows. It's pretty shallow here, so I'm just walking with my shoes on because yellow. But um, it's cold. It's cold, man. And apparently it goes like eight miles down. Uh, my feet are going numb, so I'm gonna turn back, but the canyon goes on and it gets smaller and smaller as you go. All these people came prepared. They have like waterproof shoes and all that stuff. We did not. <laughs> Because we have the kids, so I don't think it's something that's going to happen for us on this trip. Um, but maybe next time, or maybe when the kids are older, because we saw a lot of kids doing this. Like, walking past us as we were walking up. Like, even a seven-year-old I saw with the little waders on who had just done it, so... Maybe next year. What's that? Peanut butter jelly? Yeah. Is it tasty? Yeah. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Taking a little break on this rock. Look how beautiful this is. I want to go swimming, but I didn't wear any boxers today. So I don't think they would be too thrilled if I went skinny dipping. Maybe next time when the kids are older, we'll all hike the narrows together. That's a big boy. <laughs> My favorite part about the park so far, they got beer at the lodge. Woo. The long hike gets well deserved. Woo woo! All right, now we're talking. This place is getting cooler and cooler. We're off to the Emerald Pools. They said the bridge to the pools is closed. But we're gonna go check and see if it is. If it is, we're still gonna try and go. Cause f them. It was close to Emerald Pools, but like I said, we was going to come no matter what. So I had to make three crossings, one with the baby, one with Harper, and then I had to go back and get the stroller. Oh, it better be worth it. <laughs>
Jesse said it feels like a Mordor trail, like you're in the Lord of the Rings. And I agree. And the fall colors are just wah. Ugh. So <laughs> it feels like poop. Real slimy. Absolutely gorgeous. What'd you think? It's pretty. It was worth dragging the kids stroller and all that no, barefoot no. through that frigid water. But now I gotta go do it again. See you on the other side.